Hello and welcome to Let's Learn. So today we'll be looking at um, SPM topical questions. Um, this would be transformations, a continuation of transformations one and two. Right, so <clears throat> let's look at question six. Uh, in diagram four, quadrilateral RSTV. Oh, I didn't really need my pencil. RSTV is the image of quadrilateral. QSUP under an enlargement. Okay. Find the skill factor of enlargement. Okay. So this is kind of easy. Now, the small one is the image. That means the number can never be bigger than 1. So B is out. Um... It's not a negative because if it's a negative, then it will look. Um, let's see. Yeah, it will be on the other side. Okay, so negative three is out and negative one over three is out. So your answer is one over three. But how do I make sure? You find a side. So if let's say I use SR, right? It is. Two boxes down, one box to the right. So if I go two boxes down, one box to the right, that's another one. Two boxes down, one box to the right, that's a third one. So QS needs to shrink three times to become RS. So that's why the answer is one over three. Okay, you can even use this method in uh, paper two if you know you're desperate enough. So number seven, diagram five shows two pentagons, uh, P Q, drawn on the Cartesian plane. Q is the image of P under a transformation. Find the coordinates of image point R under the same transformation. Hmm. So this looks like a reflection. So let me confirm that one, one, one and a half, half and a one. One, two and a half, half, one and a half, two and a half. And this is one and a half, half and a one. So it is a reflection. Right? So coordinates of image point are under the same transformation. It is one box away. Right? So um, basically one diamond. So you go to another one, and that is the image of your R. Oops, sorry. And it's at 5, 7. The coordinate is 5, 7. Remember, the first one is X, the second one is Y. So the answer is B. I'm surprised they didn't put a 7, 5 there. You know, there will be people who make that kind of careless mistake. But yeah, it's a good thing they, did, they didn't put it. If not, then you'll, you'll be in trouble. Alright? Now, let's look at question 8. Data 5 shows the plan of students' table in the class of Tree Mawar. At the beginning of the year, Chiku City placed Suraya at the position uh, 3 rows and 4 columns. Great. I always forget what's rows and columns. Ay, 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 ay. Three rows and four columns from the entrance. Mm, a week later, the mathematics teacher Jiku Ali changed Suraya's place using a translation of minus two minus one due to Suraya's poor result in a test. The class teacher changed her place again. Suraya, Suraya is directed to move one place to the right and three places to the front. What is Suraya's position now? So I need to quickly refresh myself on what are rows and columns. I always forget it, I don't know why. Okay, so rows are from left to right. And columns are uh, 
vertical. Right. Rows are horizontal, columns are vertical. Great. <sighs> three rows. So one, two, three. Oh. one, two, three, four columns. One, two, three, four. So this is her initial place. And the maths teacher changed the place using translation of negative two, negative one. So the top is the x, the bottom is the y. Minus two to the left, minus one. Going downwards. Now that's what I'm assuming because um, going downwards and going to the left is negative. Alright? And then the class teacher change the place again. Move one place to the right and then three places to the front. One, two, and three. Where is your position now? It is X. And the answer for X is B. Okay? Alrighty. Now, let's look at question number nine. Hmm, we're flying through this chapter. That's good. Now, Serena conduct an experiment using a pinhole camera. Diagram 6 shows an object and the image formed in a pinhole camera. Which of the following are correct information about the experiment? Mm -hmm. Image is 2cm here. The object is 2cm over there. And I'm guessing it's upside down too. Scale factor. Okay, so one cm is good. Sorry, one meter is a hundred cm. So for two meters to become two cm, it will be one over hundred. Because it's upside down, it should be negative 1 over 100. Right? And the distance here, 10 cm, all we need to do is times 100, so it'll be 1000. So distance, let's see, flat ball distance from the center of enlargement. The center of enlargement will be the pinhole P here, right? Not uh, Q, but P. So it's 1000 here, and over here it should be a negative 1 over 100. The reason why is because it's on the other side of the center of enlargement. Remember, it must be on the other side. So if it's like this, then it will be upside down like that. Right, it will look like it's uh, reflected as well. Okay, so that's question 9. Now, last one, question 10. The last one for this video. Woohoo! You don't need to listen to me anymore. So, diagram 5 shows two octagons drawn on a Cartesian plane. Octagon 2 is the image of octagon 1 under a transformation. Describe in full the transformation. So the top part of the question is kind of useless for us, but we need to look at this. Okay. <clears throat> so usually for these kind of questions, you need your ruler, your pencil, and uh, your compass. And again, my compass is not here, but it's fine. So basically what you need to do is to find the midpoint of this, which I knew is along this line. Okay, so you have to cut the line into half. Then for this one. One, two, three, four. Oh, fantastic. 
Yeah, it's still the same line. So I'm not going to use that. Uh, let's use this one. I'm going to create four. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait a minute. This is for this point, sorry. So this one's a bit different. Uh oh, I can't estimate that one. Hmm. But I suspect it's gonna be at zero. This is um two four six eight two four six eight. Oh great! So it's along that straight line right? again. Uh, what about you? Same. Oh, so you're the only odd one out. Nah. Oh, it's a reflection. It's not even Yeah, it's not even a rotation, it's a reflection. Uh, let's see, A is anti-clockwise rotation of 90 de degrees about the center. Oh no, if it's 90 degrees then from this quadrant here and it's anti-clockwise, it would be over here. So it's wrong. It should be in this quadrant, then you know only it fulfills A. B, clockwise rotation of 90 degrees about center O. So, if it's clockwise rotation of 90 degrees from this quadru quadrant, it will go down to this quadrant right here. So, B is out. Reflection on the line Y equals to negative X. Yes, that's correct. This is Y equals to negative X. And it's a reflection. Right? Because they correspond to each other. So as a C. Now why is it not D? Because Y equals 0. It's this line right here. So if it's reflected along the x-axis, then this would have flipped down to this quadrant right here. Okay? So that's the end of this video. 13 minutes. Record time. I hope you know I can make it shorter for you all uh, in the next few videos. But just bear with me and I hope you've learned something. Alright, see you in the next one. Bye!